Hey guys, so it's been ages since I've done a tag, um, and I saw one, um, pretty recently that I liked and I thought was very appropriate, um, so yeah, I thought I'd go ahead and do it, and this is the Shopaholic tag, um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. Um, I have the questions on my phone here, so that's why I'm looking down. Um, would you consider yourself a shopaholic? I would say yes. Um, <laughs> especially when it comes to makeup. Um, not so much like clothing and accessories and stuff, um, but makeup more than anything, I would say I would definitely have a problem with. Um, so it's in the last few months if you guys have been watching my channel. Um, so, yeah. Number two, would, how would you classify your style? Um, I would say classic and feminine um very simple as far as like clothing pieces go um but with a twist so like i'll add some um edgy accessories or just some maybe some boho pieces like a hat or um type of scarf or something um so basically just in general just very simple classic feminine um i love neutral colors and if i do wear um another kind of color i like wearing pink a lot i have a lot of pink in my closet so yeah i think um without getting into going into too much detail that's the basic gist of what my style is um um let's see number three is what store can you not leave without buying at least one thing i definitely think that would be target um it's really really hard for me to go in and just buy one thing and even when I have a list of things I go into Target with a list um and I don't necessarily stick to that list always I always getting end up getting up extra things so yeah I'd definitely say Target um let's see number four where do you find the best deals um I'd have to go with Target again on this one they have by far the cheapest makeup um the or I should say the best prices for drugstore makeup um, than any other place than CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, anything like that. Target always has the best prices, especially for mascara. Um, so yeah, love that. Um, let's see, number five. What designer are you willing to splurge for? Um, the first person that came to mind was Marc Jacobs. His handbags are to die for. Like, they're amazing. Um, every time I see somebody with one, I'm just like... I need that bag <laughs> but obviously I cannot afford to buy every single one that I see um but they're like honestly those are my favorite pieces from him so um yeah Marc Jacobs um number six do you have a go-to shopping outfit um I do not like a specific piece like this particular shirt and this particular pair of pants but just in general I usually go shopping in jeans um, tennis shoes and a top. Um, it could be a basic top or like um, a blouse, but basically those are my three like staple pieces or flip flops depending on what season it is. Um, but just because shoes, I need comfortable shoes, so I usually that's why I pick tennis shoes. And jeans are also very comfortable um, and quite easy to get on and off. Um, and yeah, shirt that's easy to take off, so that's my go-to shopping outfit. Um, number seven, what is your guilty pleasure not including makeup? Um, I would have to say my handbag that I got for Christmas. Um, it's this one right here. It's by Black Rivet. Um, and you can find these at this brand at Wilson Leather. Um, if you guys saw my updated What's My Bag video, you've seen this. I got it for Christmas from my mom, and I didn't ask for it, but I'm absolutely in love with it. It's amazing. Um, it's leather. It's like a cobalt blue color. It's probably not picking up on camera that well, um, but it's amazing. It's got really great straps, um, different kinds of straps, lots and lots of pockets, um, tons of room. And I love it, um, but I do feel guilty for bringing it um, a lot of places because it is, like, it's not huge, but it is large for some of the events that I go to. Um, like, I was recently at a birthday party, um, and I brought this bag, and I felt kind of ridiculous, but I just can't help it. I love it so much, like, I just want to bring it everywhere, so that's my guilty pleasure right now. Um, 
number eight what is one staple clothing piece you cannot live without um i have to say it's a tie between flip-flops and tank tops um I live in flip-flops all year round. I wear them around the house. I don't go barefoot. I don't wear socks. I wear flip-flops. Um, I love them. And then, especially for the summertime, like, you can't beat flip-flops. So, there's that. And then tank tops, like, they're so versatile. You can wear them with anything. You can wear them by themselves. Um, they're just a great staple piece to have, and I love them. Um, number nine, what is one trend you hope never goes out of style? Um... I think I would say scarves just in general. Can you imagine if scarves weren't in style anymore? Like, that would be awful, especially like in the fall and winter time. Like, those are my favorite times of year to wear a scarf. I think that would be terrible. Um, so, yeah, number 10. What trend did you love that passed away too quickly? Um, I don't know if it necessarily passed away too quickly, but it did seem like um, it was a trend that was a little bit on the shorter side and that was feather earrings um and it started to go away just as i was like getting into it um and like wanted to try to wear a pair myself but i thought that was a really cool trend um and it kind of spoke to my bohemian side um as far as style goes so yeah um and then number 11 who is your fashion icon um i would have to say the freshman that came per first person that came to mind was Lauren Conrad. Um, I have loved her style for years. Um, I just think that she epitomizes like what I like to go for. Like very like casual but bohemian and still feminine um, and put together but not trying too hard. Um, so yeah I just love her style. And that is the last question, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I tag all of you to do it, so leave me your responses down in the comments or post a video response so I can check out what your answers would be. Um, and all of my usual links will be down in the info bar as always, so I hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye!